Hello once again welcome to Agiotech. This channel is for anyone ready to learn IT and general computer tricks and techniques. We teach you how to code step by step from scratch. We also teach you design techniques using Photoshop, how you can use Adobe Illustrator and other Adobe products. Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get update anytime we upload a new content in this tutorial i'm going to teach you everything you need to know in order to start programming in python python is one of the most popular programming language in the world and it's beginner friendly what i mean is that it's easy to write python code and then run it to have python on your pc you first need to visit python.org so when you go to python within the browser i'm going to python.org and then you can download python you first need to download python and then install it on your pc in order to run it so i'm at the website of python so this is python.org when i visit download when i click on the download menu you notice i have option over so the latest version of python i have right now is python is python 3.9 so this is the most recent python i think this is of python i've already downloaded python installed on my pc okay so when you want to use python first you need to download this and then it's straightforward installation once you install python you are ready to go you can run python by using any of the text edited you can go with pycharm so pycharm is from jetbrains so if you go to if you just type pycharm you can download pycharm and use but you have to be specific the kind of text editor you want to use so i prefer using the jupyter notebook so to use jupyter notebook i need to have anaconda installed on my pc i'll create a new video on how to set up your entire text editor but i'll prefer you go with any any of the simple text editors available so this is the pycharm you can easily download PyCharm and use. You have the community version which is free for you to use or you can go for the enterprise which is paid version. So if I click over here, let's have the community version. So this is how the interface is look, going to look like. So you can easily use it to run your... So you notice we have the professional version and then we also have the community version. So if you want to use PyCharm to run your Python code, you can easily download the community version. You have everything needed in order to start writing a python your python code but in this tutorial i'm going to stick to the jupyter notebook notice when you run the anaconda what i mean is that when you can just go and then download anaconda onto your pc and once you install anaconda you have access to start using the jupyter notebook it comes with other programs in which you can use even the vls code editor is also within the anaconda I've been able to access Jupyter within the Jupyter notebook within my Anaconda and straightforward I can start write, I can start writing Python code. So how then do you print? One of the most important thing you need to know is how to start printing print anything to the screen. Anyone writing a program for the first time would like to print the hello world print it to the screen. That is the most one of the most easiest thing anyone at all can do when you are starting to learn programming. Okay, so if you want to print something using python the keyword i need to use is the print statement so print and then we have types of data types we're going to talk about with integers we have uh, decimal place that's the floating point values and we also have strings so when you want to type anything which is a string string anything using in python you just use the keyword print so if i type the print keyword and i want to print hello world hello world is a string so if anything which is a string you put into a code so if i type in hello world this way and i run this code you notice that it's going to print hello world so this has been printed for me so this is basically how you can print anything at all using what python so python is very simple to learn and it's easy once you install python on your pc you've been able to access it using any of the text editors or IDs that's integrated development environment. I'm using the Jupyter Notebook as you can see. So I can go straight forward to type in anything at all I want. So what I'm doing right now is to print something. But what I want to talk about is we first need to learn how to create variables. Var variables are very unique. 
they are very important in running they are very important variables are very important once creating programs variables are just like a place within your memory that holds specific values so it's like a manches box or just a box is a container variables are just like containers that hold a value so you can make the container available to hold a specific value so if I type in name if I type in the word name that's a variable and to assign a value to variable the value I want to give to that variable will be on the right so is a equal to sign so I want to assign what is on the right to what is on the left so if I want to type my name I can just go ahead and say Timothy okay so meaning what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to assign the name Timothy to this so it's going to store this so let me just see my name so that's going to be the name of my variable so variables have unique way we need to know how to create variable we cannot create space between the variable it shouldn't be so you can either use an underscore to join two words together or you can use the camo case we have camo case and then a pascal case so if you want to we have camo case and then a pascal case so i can say if you want to use the camo case i can say my the name this way this is a typical example of using the camo case to create or to name your variable you can also use the pascal case pascal will go this way my name okay so this is a typical example so right now i've noticed i've created this variable i mostly like using the come okay so this way i've created my variable so this timothy right now is stored in my name so if i try to print out if i try to print out my name I notice that it's going to print timothy so if i run this code look at what is happening it's printing timothy so basically this is now just like an, a space that is holding this value so if i go ahead and i type in let's say adjective when i type in adjective let's say you take up this way and i'll run this code again it's going to print that so you notice this piece has been allocated to store any value that i then assign to it okay so within python we have so many functions so functions are basically a block of code that perform a specific tax so once you call that function that function has already been assigned a tax so when you call that function it's going to perform that tax so this is a string this is the you take up and we can easily apply so many functions on this particular string we can easily convert this to uppercase convert the whole thing into lowercase so basically that's how you can use functions and we can also learn how to create our own functions so if i come here and again i call my name dot so i can easily use the lowercase keyword this is a function if i run this code it's going to convert the entire as you take into what a lowercase so you notice the a is now going to be small and then the half is now also going to be what, small so look at what is happening so this is a typical example of what function in python you can create our own function and when we get there we learn how we can create our own functions okay so this is a lower keyword you can also use upper keyword so when i run this it's going to convert everything into upper so you notice we just target everything stored within this variable my name and then we say dots and we are applying this function on it and it's going to change the content of whatever is is within this what variable into a package we can also decide to even replace something within this there's a keyword called replace so this is going to take two arguments so that if i change this to replace this is going to take two arguments so maybe i want to say add your text solution so i need to target what i want to change and then the first argument is what is going to be what i want to change and the next one is what i want to change it with so let's say i want to target the hub and bring a comma so the next thing i'm going to do is to change it with something else so let's say solution so i'm not going to print add your text solution okay so i'm targeting the hub and i'm now replacing with the or solution so we can use this function as well so if i run this code look at what is printed out now so we have agile text solution so these are functions in which you can easily use in running your applications so functions are very very important when you are running any you are creating any applications it makes you run or write simple code you don't need to write a, a lot of code in order to get your results once you run this once you create a function 
you can easily use it anywhere within your code okay so we've managed to use some few functions on this we also can easily use the length we can check the length of whatever is stored within this particular variable so if i use the key the length keyword and i type in my name type in my name so anything tall over here i'm going to get the length of that so you notice what i have what 12 over here so that means that's the length of whatever is tall over let me go ahead and update this so instead of the how let me change it to our solutions so if I change it to solution and run, you notice the content is now going to change. So basically, there are several ways in which you can do manipulation to any information you have by using functions. When you go to numbers, we also have numbers within. So we have numbers also within Python. We can use numeric numbers and then also apply certain functions on them. So let's say this tomorrow, let's say my number okay so let me use so i'm using the camel case so my number so instead of putting it into quotes when you're using integers you just type in just as it is you don't need to what add any code so take note of that if you are convert if you are creating a number just go straight forward to the point and you don't need to put into any code i can also say print also print and then I can just say 4 plus 6 if I run this code it's going to add those two numbers for me so this is how you can use numbers as well but like I said we also have functions in which you can use to manipulate your numbers within string if this number is negative and I want to if I have a negative number I can easily print this one out and then get a positive number in which I can use and I can use a function for that as well. So if I use the ABS, it's called absolute value. So I want to use the absolute. I want to get an absolute value. So if I use this on my variable and I run this code, you notice the negative wouldn't be there. So this will give you an absolute value. You can also specify by saying, you can go ahead and say max. Okay, let me just go ahead and say max. We can get a maximum number we can put in two numbers and can easily get the biggest amount there so you have to put in let's say six let's say 40 you have to bring command so two numbers so we're having what 67 and then 54 how then do we get the biggest amount there or the largest amount there so we are using the mask keyword and we run this and get what 60 what seven when the 67 is the biggest i can also use the opposite is the what minimum for the minimum values and then this can also print out the 54 for me so there are so many other things you can do using python okay so if i come here and i type in 5.88 that's also a unique way you can also run this number as you want to run this number you can use the run keyword so you have the run keyword So you can also use the run keyword and if I type in my number this is going to convert this into six okay so I'm able to run this number as well there are also unique values or there's also unique functions you can use in numbers but with this before you can use any of those things we have what you need to do we have some models within Python that you used to know models are basically code that have been written already so you just have to import them as part of your program and then the functions within that model you can easily use them so to import those models you can say from so we want to use mass so mass is a model in which you can apply so many other functions within the particular model so if i say mass from mass import import if i use the star keyword meaning i'm trying to import everything from that so if I import this, I cannot go ahead and then start typing other functions. So one of the functions is the floor keyword. Floor. So this is available within this particular mass model that I have actually imported. So if I run this, look at this. It's just giving me five. It's not converting it. You can take note of the run keyword. This will convert everything and then give you six. But if I try to run 
using the flow keyword the flow keyword this is going to give me five so the flow solid figure okay so if I mouse import import everything we want to import and then we can see my number okay let's just see number number is equal to I said number is equal to 64 so we would mass function we can easily find the square root of that so if i say print and i just go ahead and say square root so this is how you type a square root and then it's a function and once we put the number keyword over there we can find the square root of 64 okay and this is what it so basically we have several other mass models we have several other mass functions in which we can use in our code so this will make our life very simple we have so many functions within this in which we can use okay so i'm going to go back to let me just say name so i want to just create something very simple we want to i'm not going to assign anything over here so let me say food and i'm going to create a sentence okay so the sentence i'm going to do right now is okay let me just print this so let me see so i'm going to create two things two variables so let me see food okay so we want to do something very unique over here. we want to just do create a sentence and try to use a variable once we create a variable we want to use the variable to change the content of whatever we have within that sentence so what we need to do right now is to just create let's say name so let's say the name is what coffee and then let's also assign the age so age is also a variable and then we can see the age is what 57 so remember integers you don't need to put them into quotation so we'll just go ahead and start printing something so let me see so what i'm going to print will be in the quotation so see So I'll just go ahead and say my name is so my name is Kofi. So at this time I'm not going to type Kofi direct. I need to append it. We call it concatenate. You need to use a plus key where this way. So my name is Kofi, and I'm you notice that the content of name right now is, is going to be stored as Kofi. So I'm going to go ahead and say name and then I'll append the next whatever is going to follow. So my name is Kofi and so this is also a string I need to put into quotation again and I am so I want to now print the age I need to append that so h and I'm gonna append the last sentence and um so you're gonna print my name is my name is Kofi and I'm 57 years old so the way I'm gonna say yes old so this one on the print when I run this code I'm going to get error because this is an integer if you want to concatenate or append integer to string it wouldn't work so the best thing for me to do is to convert this into what an integer as well so if I come down here I can str I can just do str this way so many I'm trying to convert the age which is the number into a string in order for them to work together so if I run this code right now you see my name is what Kofi and I'm 57 years we just have to add some few space after the name and then also after the age so i just have to come down here and then give a space over here and also give a space if i run this again the space and everything you need to be very unique so this particular track i'm not i'll not be able to cover everything in this particular i'm not going to be able to cover everything so i'm going to do it in bit by bit so remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell.